What's up guys? Running iNav on a Strata Surfer right now with uh, Shark Bite. Got all my OSD gear up. I'm just about to launch this thing. Um, got a buddy it's getting set up. He's going to follow me with the drone as well, so that's pretty cool. Looks like I just tossed it. Oh, there's the toss. I'm climbing. This thing kind of climbs slow with the. I got a big battery in this thing. There we go. Head tracker's ready to rock there. Got it all zeroed in, it looks like. Yeah, then I get to like t check stuff out while I'm flying. It's a little disorienting flying with head tracking just because you literally have to move your head to turn and see stuff. Um, I don't know if I prefer it or if I might just ditch the whole setup in the future. <laughs> I probably will just because it's fun. It's kind of like a novelty, you know. It's it's neat. Oh, there's a quad. It's neat to watch it and neat to use it, but it adds an extra wire you got to hook up. You got to utilize two channels just to run it. It's pretty cool, but I might put it like on an RC car instead, just because it might be easier to use it on that. But yeah, Shark Bite's working good on here. Um, my data, so it looks like that's distance to home in meters there on that bottom one where the arrows, yeah, that's what that is. Cool. So that's working good. RSSI is working. I got voltage. I got satellites. Only thing I'm looking at right now is that speed isn't working. I'm not sure why. Um might be a bug with iNav in the shark bite setup maybe it's just not transferring that data like it should I'll have to check that out maybe I'll update to the newest iNav and see if it see if it helps I think I'm running 2.5 on this so but yeah strata surfer flies good this is like 10 mile an hour wind right now uh, 25 degrees outside and I am freezing at this point my hands are frozen <laughs> so it's a pretty short flight um, yeah but just check out the quality shark bite I'm not getting much breakup at all it looks really good. And this is exactly what I'm looking at, like looking at through the goggles right now too. I, I really enjoy flying shark bite high up. You get to see everything. There's a lot more detail than you would see with analog. Oh, my buddy almost got me with the quad. Nice. <laughs> it was a little scary up there because if he knocked that off, I would not have video. But with an airplane, I can just look up and line of sight it down. I'm not far away. So. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I thought it was pretty cool, and I'm, I'm glad it works with iNav as well. So it's kind of nice that you can set up SharkBite on a couple of different platforms. It was pretty nice to have. So, but yeah, enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the video, and stay tuned for more.